The mysteries behind the character known as Lushu are slowly beginning to unravel. But we still don't know all his secrets. Some have yet to be brought to light. Particularly, how he swaps bodies and what's in that infamous box he carries around with him. However, perhaps the biggest question of all still eludes us. Will Lushu be on the side of light, that of the Seven Crowns? Or will he be on the side of the willful darknesses? and end up opposing the light. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kefi's Corner, where today we'll try to unravel this mystery. Is Lushu destined for the darkness, or will he end up wielding one of the seven crowns instead? Hmm. Seven black pieces, and? Just watch. We can gleam from this scene that there are seven willful darknesses that will be opposing that of the light. That of the seven crowns, most likely. We just don't know who will fill in these roles yet. But some of the decorations adorning five of the black pieces give us a clue if we slow down one of the frames. And three of them, in particular, practically scream out the names of some of the foretellers. We have a unicorn on the far left, which is most certainly Ira, a snake, which is assuredly Envy, and either a bear or a leopard for the piece on the far right, either Gula or Ased. Either way you spin it, that's another foreteller on the side of the willful darknesses. And we know Lushu has always had a strong connection with the original five union leaders. Even though he was given his own task of sitting back to watch events unfold and to guard the box, there were several times that he could have chosen to interfere, but yet he always stood back, and even though he disagrees with the Master of Masters, he seemed to carry out his plan pretty flawlessly. Even after finding out the Master of Masters planned to use his friends as vessels for the darkness, he still continued watching throughout the ages over the black box, with the gazing eye. And speaking about vessels for the darkness, the five foretellers, Lushu, and the Master of Masters, that accounts for seven slots right there. Every chess piece would be accounted for. But, come on now, when has Kingdom Hearts ever been that straightforward? Body swapping may not shine a positive light on Lushu either, for... He has taken over Brain's body. And even though Brain eventually winds up in Scala, it sure seems like Lushu gave him no choice in the matter. He was taking over Brain's body, one way or the other. And I wonder how many others he's done this to throughout the years, and what happens to their heart when Lushu takes over their body. Like Bragg, for example. Because Bragg slash Lushu seemed to not care very much when his vessel got scarred by Terra. To him it was just a scratch. But if he was borrowing the body, he should care a little bit more about damage. However, if he plans on simply discarding it, then he wouldn't care as much. And that could be the case. Just before the Wild Union Cross finale, the Master of Masters is having a chat with one of the Darknesses. And the Darkness specifically asks, if his apprentice is destined to wear a crown. To which the master cryptically replies, Who knows? Anyone could wind up using one. Nomura is not ready to tell us outright who any of the crowns belong to, yet. But one has to wonder if this was a hint of a reveal. And Lushu added to the side of light would certainly make things pretty interesting. One also has to consider the fact that Lushu placed a white coat in one of the pods on the lifeboat, calling it the true dandelion. And this was done in front of the willful darkness, which certainly adds credence to Lushu working for the side of good. And he called this a seed of light to be planted in the future. This particular scene has sparked a ton of theories as to who the true dandelion could possibly be. However, Regardless of his, or her, identity, just the act of doing this in front of a willful darkness, and despite Lushu only supposed to observe, makes me think 
that we could in fact see him wearing a crown by the end of Kingdom Hearts Phase 2. I'm curious as to your thoughts though. Will Lushu wind up as a willful darkness? Or will he end up wielding one of the seven crowns instead? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos. Most importantly though, have a fantastic day. May your heart be your guiding key. And happy gaming.